25 kilometers to go on the stage heading out from the Alps, and we're heading in towards Paris. So we'll finish in the town of Montreval en Brest today, in Yonne-de-Bois, leading the race all alone in the breakaway, taking the intermediate sprint point, and you also won that small climb. But those points inconsequential in those competitions. Here's Andre Dargod, the big sprinter for La Vie Claire, who's been the most productive sprinter this season up until the Tour de France. He has a few second places and he's worn the yellow jersey, but he is without a stage victory, and that needs to change if La Vie Claire wants to win the Velo Tour. La Vie Claire in second place, 200 points behind Bianchi Campagnolo, with three stages to ride in the Tour de France. And they'll get 175 of those points back should Dargod win the stage. His big rival in this tour has been Jamaluddin Abdu Jabrov, who's gotten the better of him on several occasions. And Abdu is now leading the green jersey and looks set to win that competition in Paris. It's the teams of Lavi Clear, Fiat, and Zulu Kingdom doing most of the work to bring back Jens Voigt. So we'll see if Erzfoiler and Fiat can get involved in a bunch sprint. Because as it's been all season, Erzfoiler and Fiat having a hard time setting things up for sprint victories. But Fiat have won two stages in this Tour de France, and I think that's productive considering their expectations. George Hincapi winning stage 3 wearing the yellow jersey, and Jan Ross taking the win on stage 11. It looks like Jens Voigt is just about caught. So he will slide to the back of the pack, and Zulu Kingdom Continuing to pile on the pressure. Yellow jersey of Stan Ockers just behind Dargod and Abdi Japarov. He won't be sprinting for the win today, more concerned about defending his lead in the final time trial tomorrow, because he leads by 26 seconds over Andy Schleck. And I don't expect him to lose any time to Andy Schleck, but you never know with these final time trials at the end of three weeks of racing. But still a stage finish to get through today from the same three teams looking to set up their lead out trains. There's Dargod getting into position. Add to Japarov a bit far back, needs to move up a few places as we get up to the 5 pace to go banner. Fiat have plenty of riders in the front of the field. There's Urs Foiler. Fiat turning up the tempo. There's Dargod, he's got a lead out man in front of him. Could be Sio Gimar, his lead out man of choice. There's Urs Foiler, he's got two teammates with him. Fiat well organized, Zulu Kingdom starting the form on the right hand side, and Dargod and Lobby Clear on the left. Under 2Ks to go. Fiat's gonna launch for Earth Spoiler. There's Abdi Japarov following for Zulu Kingdom, and there's Andre Dargod on the left hand side, and Dargod is gonna surge clear in the final few meters. And at last, Dargod gets his Tour de France stage win. He's been foiled so many times by Jamaldi and Abdi Japarov and Mario Cipollini. But not anymore on the 19th stage, Dargod finally gets in the winner's column and scores a very important chunk of points for his team in their quest to win the Velo Tour. A few stragglers coming in, including Jens Voigt, the hero of the breakaway. But despite Dargod's win, Abdi Japarov finished in second place, and mathematically, that should seal the green jersey competition. So Zulu Kingdom have secured two of the tour's jerseys in Paris, and that is a huge achievement for that team. But that shouldn't distract from the great sprint by Andre Dargod. Launched at just the right moment, Abdu and Erzfoiler going a bit too early, and they'll be forced to settle for the minor placings. So Andre Dargod of Lavi Claire wins the stage, Jamaluddin Abdu Japarov of Zulu Kingdom is second, Erzfoiler third place for Fiat. Learco Guerra of Bianchi Campagnolo gets 4th, and Matteo Trenton of Calme in 5th place. There's the GC, pretty much no change today. Magnus back set, still your long turn rouge. In the green jersey competition, still Jamaldin at the Japarov, and although Dargod making up some ground, it still won't be enough in the end. And Tani remaining 3rd place, the little climber, is meet up with the sprinters in that competition. We'll have a big sprint royale on stage 21. Very prestigious sprint stage. Very on Tennessee, confirmed winner of the King of the Mountains jersey, as we know. 
and onto the team competition, it's still Ceramicas, but this could change tomorrow in the final time trial. Be interested to see how that shakes out. So tomorrow's time trial, the final stage for the GC favorites to gain time on each other. See you then.